Today on the Audio Hotline, I'm going to be reviewing the Tascam TM70. The TM70 is a super cardioid dynamic microphone that comes in at $99. Today I'll be going through a bunch of details about this microphone, the basics, the accessories, the specs. I'll test the absolute hell out of it. But before we get into all that, I do want to say a big thank you to Bark over at Obscure Mics for actually sending me this microphone to try out. That guy is just the absolute best. I just love him. But in a way, I'm kind of piggybacking off of his review a little bit. So if you want to watch another review of this microphone, definitely check his out. I'll leave the link down below. Well, should we get into it? Let's get mic'd. Welcome all audio nerds to the audio hotline, and as I said before, we got the Tascam TM70 in the studio. As you can tell right now, this is an end address microphone, so even though it looks like it shouldn't be, and like I should be talking into it like this, don't talk into it like this. Now I do want to state just really quick before I get kind of ranty <laughs> that I do have timestamps in this video, so if you want to navigate to the stuff that you want to see, feel free to stay and watch all of this video. In my recent Zoom ZDM1 review, a microphone that actually looks pretty similar to this, I mentioned Bark from Obscure Mics and how he has actually taken a side address condenser microphone and turned it into an end address dynamic microphone. Soon after I put out that review, he reviewed this microphone that looks the exact same way. The Zoom ZDM1 looks like an AT2020 that turned end address dynamic. Now this microphone on the other hand kind of looks like all of those really cheap condenser microphones, like the newers of the world. So Bark from Obscure Mics kind of feels like he got ripped off a little bit, you know, by Tascam. Bronson, they copied me, son. They copied me. And you know what? I don't blame him. So I opted in to be his lawyer, and we're gonna we're gonna go after Tascam with extreme prejudice. <laughs> I honestly don't even think I know what that means. I just heard it on a law show one time, and uh, sounds right. Sounds sounds good. So let's actually start talking about this thing. Today I am recording the ninety-nine dollar Tascam TM seventy into my Zoom F six. I have the gain set at about plus 28 decibels, and I'm not doing any post-processing of any kind. Here in a little bit, I will be putting the TM70 up against similar priced dynamic microphones. So if you want to hear this compared to like the Zoom ZDM1, the PodMic, the SM58, and maybe some other ones, I'm not really sure yet. Stay tuned and I'll get to that here in a little bit. But now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box with the TM70. When you purchase the Tascam TM70, it will come with a shock mount. This also comes with a desktop tripod stand with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter. An XLR cable is in fact included. You will get some documentation and of course you will get the Tascam TM70 dynamic microphone. Now when it comes to the accessories that are included with this microphone, honestly I don't really have any complaints. Although the microphone does look like a cheap condenser microphone turned dynamic microphone, I will say that the shock mount is much nicer than what you get with those cheap condenser microphones. A microphone stand adapter is great. I'm not the biggest fan of desktop tripod stands, but this one actually feels okay even though I will literally never use it. But now let's talk about the build quality of the microphone. Now I agree with Bark wholeheartedly when it comes to this. This microphone build quality is weak. Not only does it look like a cheap condenser microphone, it feels like a cheap condenser microphone. And the XLR connector on the bottom of this microphone feels pretty cheap. But this is definitely a mass-produced microphone body. In summary though, the accessories do feel pretty good. The microphone itself doesn't feel great. And when it comes to a microphone not having great build quality for the price, it means it kind of has to wow in the sound department. But before we test this out, let's go ahead and nerd out and talk about some specs. That was cringy, I know. The Tascam TM70 is a dynamic microphone with a super cardioid polar pattern. This has a frequency response of 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 51 decibels, and an output impedance of 250 ohms. Now when it comes to the frequency response graph of the TM70, it looks pretty similar to what a lot of spoken word or vocal microphones would have. The bottom end is rolled off and the bass and the mids are relatively flat, but there is a pretty large boost in the high end. 
Well, now that we've gone through the basics and the specs, now let's go ahead and test this microphone out. During the testing section, I will occasionally use a windscreen. I'll label which one down in the description. But also, I will have every test and what I'm doing and what I'm using labeled in the lower third of the video. Now let's go ahead and kick it off with a proximity effect test. If you get really close to the Tascam TM70, give it a little sniffy sniff. It smells exactly like a school auditorium. Now if you use a little sure windscreen, here's how it's going to sound when you get close to it. This next part's probably going to be kind of loud. Let's do some plosives. Peter Parker picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 Now, if you're a gamer or a podcaster or someone who just likes talking into microphones while they aggressively type on keyboards, then here's how it's going to reject that keyboard sound when you have some MX Cherry Blue switches. Now, let's take this polar pattern test one step further with some white noise. Now, if you're one of them there YouTubers that hates when the microphone's in your camera shot, here's how it's going to sound when the microphone's about three feet away from you. And we're getting closer, and hello. <laughs> Hi. Now, if you're going to get this microphone for podcasting or voiceover or just anything where you're going to have some post-processing on it, here is how it could sound, which is very simply a high-pass filter, probably around 60 hertz. No additional cuts or boosts with EQ, but also I will add a compressor, possibly a limiter, and maybe a de -esser. I will, of course, label whatever I use down in the lower third of the video. This is the exact same post-processing, but this is with a windscreen on the TM70. Now for this comparison, I decided I want to do a blind test. I feel like they're the most fair. Then we're not judging with our eyeballs, but our earballs. So I'm just going to number the microphones and do it that way, and I'll let you know which microphone is which after the comparison. But if you do want to comment which number of microphone you like best or which number you think is which microphone, dude, feel free to comment down there. The comment section's yours. It's all yours. Let's go ahead and kick this comparison off. Here is microphone number one. Here is microphone number two. And here is how it sounds going into the Zoom F6. Here is microphone number three going into the Zoom F6. Right here we have microphone number four going into the Zoom F6. And here is how it sounds. Here is the sound of microphone number five going into the Zoom F6. And here's how it sounds. Now here is the sound of microphone number one. Here is the sound of microphone number three. Here is the sound of microphone number two. Microphone number five in this comparison, and here is how it sounds. Here is the sound of microphone number four. Microphone one here just being a dynamic microphone, like the rest of them, here's how it sounds. Microphone five says it will high five anyone that picks it as its favorite. Here is the sound of microphone three going into the Zoom F6. Here's microphone number two just being a cute little dynamic microphone like all the other microphones in this comparison. Once again, here is microphone number four, and here is the sound. Spoiler alert, the results are about to come up, so if you do want to guess, pause it now. Microphone number one, microphone number two, microphone number three, microphone four, microphone number five. Now that I've went back and edited a majority of this video and listened to this microphone a lot and tested it out a ton, I'm finally ready to give you my opinion of the Tascam TM70. But briefly, let's talk about the comparison real quick. I can wholeheartedly say that every microphone in that review has a better build than the Tascam TM70. 
It may seem like I'm giving a lot of points to build quality, but that's not really the case. All I'm really saying is that if this microphone's not going to be up to par with build quality of similar products at this price point, then it needs to outshine those other products when it comes to sound. Now, when it comes to the sound comparison and everything, it's totally your choice what you think is best, what you like. Every single person has a different opinion on what microphone they like. You know, audio and sound is just totally subjective. But in my opinion, I don't feel like the Tascam like outshined any of the microphones in that comparison. At the very least, the other microphones were on par, if not better, than the Tascam. I do want to throw out there, though, that all of those microphones were $100. Aside from one, the Zoom ZDM1 that actually comes in at $80. And actually recently the ZDM1 was on sale for $60. That's pretty crazy for getting a microphone that's absolutely on par with the TM70 and has substantially better build quality. But that's all I'm going to say about the comparison. I'll leave the rest up to you guys what microphone you like the most. Go ahead and comment what you liked. I've basically beat it to death that this thing isn't built well and that the body is basically just a mass-produced, reused condenser microphone body. So that's definitely a negative when it comes to this microphone. Now let's talk about a couple other things. The more I use this microphone, the more I was kind of like, I wish that they would have included a windscreen. The plosives weren't great, but they weren't absolutely terrible. I've definitely heard worse. Pickled peanutses. Pickled peanutses. It sounds like the capsule's just getting smacked. There are definitely similar microphones that have that same characteristic, but a lot of those microphones come with windscreens. And I really wish they would have included a nice windscreen like what comes with the Zoom ZDM1. I'm really talking the Zoom ZDM1 up, aren't I? The Zoom ZDM1 windscreen fits on this like okay, though. <laughs> Aside from this microphone grabbing air, I've also noticed that it can sound a little bit harsh. Right now with this bigger windscreen on, it actually has helped quite a bit cut down on some of that harshness. But if you're not using that windscreen, you can hear that sibilance come through like substantially more. One compliment that I have for it for sure is that the off-axis rejection was actually really nice. If you listen to like the white noise test, you can tell that it, it does a good job rejecting stuff. But to be blunt and just to come out and say it, quite honestly, I don't recommend the Tascam TM70. I think there are just too many good options around $100, whether it be the SEV7, the Zoom ZDM1, or the Rode PodMic. Even the Shure SM58, this thing is built to last. And maybe some of you are like, you know, I don't really care about build quality. I'm just going to leave it in my office on a stand. Regardless, though, you deserve the best well-rounded product for the money. And you should be giving your money to a company that truly tries to give you the best product. I feel like the Tascam TM70 was just a cash grab because a bunch of people are starting podcasts right now. And because it's an end address dynamic microphone that kind of looks like a broadcast microphone, people are going to jump on it. But that's the main reason I wanted Bark to send me this. I don't want people to spend their hard-earned money on a subpar product. I know it sounds like I'm being a little bit harsh, but all I'm really trying to say is there are just better options out there. But the grade that I give the Tascam TM70 is a D. So for a D, I'm saying that this product is not worth the money. And it is delivering an overall quality that is worse than its price point. Thank you all for watching this review of the Tascam TM70. I hope it helped you out, helped you decide that you probably shouldn't get this microphone. But most of all, I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews and comparisons and a bunch of other little fun stuff. Also, I will be starting memberships for this channel, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And a big thank you to all of you that subscribe to this channel. You are just wonderful. You're exquisite. Anyway, thanks for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you audio nerds next time.